Hello my beautiful friends, it's Mimi here today and today's video is gonna be a little bit different because today's video is not on fashion or beauty or travel, it's on how you can save your laptop and your phone from water damage. The reason I wanna talk about this is because this has happened to me way too many times. I'm even embarrassed to admit how many times I have spilled tea, coffee, water or any other choice of drink into the keyboard of my laptop or dropped my iPhone into the toilet because it was in the back pocket of my jeans. So if something like this has happened to you, today I'm gonna show you a way you can actually save your laptop. Like literally, I've tried this method so many times and I've given this method to all of my friends who have spilled water <laughs> on their phone or laptop and it works amazingly. So today's video is gonna be on that. I've been meaning to film this video for so long and I kept delaying it and then a few days ago, guess what happened? I was drinking tea and again I spilled the water in my keyboard <laughs> and I just realized you know what maybe this is the perfect time to film this video so here it goes I don't know if you can tell but I just spilled some water into the keyboard of my laptop which has happened to me in the past so right now I'm gonna teach you guys how to save your laptop when you have water damage now this is how it usually happens I'm sitting on my laptop doing some work sipping on my tea minding my own business and then BAM oh I spill the cup and it goes all over my laptop so the water just goes all over the keyboard and over the laptop and I'm freaking out no not again and in this moment it's just important to stay calm to breathe and not to panic we can save the laptop all right, so I'm gonna pick up the cup and put it away. I'm gonna grab some paper towels and I'm gonna take just a section of a paper towel and wipe the area around the laptop just to make sure more water is not gonna go into the laptop. So I'm just gonna wipe the table, wipe around the areas of the keyboard. However, I'm not gonna touch the keyboard. I repeat, do not touch the keyboard at this point because what happens with water when it goes into the keyboard, if it comes in contact with electricity, that's what causes water damage. It's not water per se but it's the fact that water gets in contact with electricity so in order for me to shut down the computer I'm just gonna use my mouse and I'm just gonna go into the computer here on the left and select shut down and just select that and the computer will automatically shut down now all right great so now that's done I'm gonna pick up the computer and I'm gonna just shake it. I'm gonna put it upside down and I'm gonna shake it for any water that's in the keyboard to come out. Any excess water that's still there is gonna start dripping out of the keyboard and I'm just gonna grab another paper towel and just wipe all around that area. And then I'm gonna pick up the laptop, continue shaking it until I'm sure there's no more water left in there. And now is the time I'm gonna actually wipe the keyboard. Now I'm gonna grab some paper towels and continue wiping all of the keyboard and then also the sides of the laptop where you have some opening where the headphone goes or where the wires go. So you just wanna make sure that any water that went into those holes is gonna be out of there. And now I'm gonna present to you our savior. The savior is good old rice. I'm just gonna grab a package of plain rice. You don't need anything fancy or expensive. Any rice will do in this scenario. And I'm just gonna open the package and start spreading it all over the keyboard. I wanna make sure that all of the keyboard is completely covered with rice. I'm just gonna pat it down to make sure there's no air and no gaps there. Now once this is done, I'm gonna close the side of the laptop and I'm just gonna have to let it stay there for a minimum of 24 hours. So usually I say 48 hours to be safe or even more sometimes, depending on how much water you spilled in the laptop. So the more water you spilled, obviously the more time you're gonna need for it to dry out. All right, now the time has passed. I'm gonna brush up the rice. Oh my God, this is so exciting and terrifying at the same time. Brush it all off. I'm gonna shake the laptop to make sure there's no rice stuck in the keyboard or on any of the sides of the laptop. So really make sure and shake it until you get rid of all of the rice. And then once that's done, say a little prayer <laughs> and... 
Yay, it's working. All right, but don't get too excited yet because now we really have to test the keyboard and make sure that every single key on the keyboard is actually working. So what I usually do is I open notes and I start just typing, pressing on every single key to make sure that every single one of them is actually functional. All right, so once I've tested that, I am good to go. I'm gonna do my happy dance because I have saved my laptop yet again. Okay, now what do we do if this happens to the phone? Basically the same scenario goes here. You wanna turn it off first, all right? So by pressing the middle and the side of the iPhone, and then I'm gonna grab a paper towel and wipe the phone, shake it into the paper towel. As you can see, if there's any water, you will see it on the paper towel. So you wanna even insert the paper into the holes that you can find <laughs> on the phone. And then what we're gonna do is grab a plastic bag and fill it up with rice. By the way, save the rice that you use on your phone or the laptop because you might need it later or one of your friends might need it. So don't throw the rice out after you finish this. Once the rice is in the plastic bag, you wanna insert the phone into the plastic bag and completely cover it. You wanna make sure it's covered top to bottom, side to side, back and front, completely immersed in rice. And again, we're gonna leave it alone for a minimum of 24 to 48 hours. And then once that time passes, I'm gonna take the phone out of the rice, shake it, shake it, shake it, make sure there's no rice stuck in there, and then turn it on. Again, you, your phone is gonna be working, but you don't wanna get too excited too fast. Now you wanna test and make sure it's working. So first thing I'm gonna do is call somebody, make sure that I can hear them, make sure that they can hear me. I'm gonna play some music to make sure that the sound is working well. I'm gonna take some pictures to make sure the camera is working well, the front and the back camera, and if everything is working, then the trick has once again worked. Hallelujah. And that is all my friends. Now you know how to save your laptop and your phone from water damage. I hope you never ever have to use this method because you'll never ever spill the water on your phone or the laptop. But the truth is this can happen not only to you but maybe your family members or your friends. So make sure to share this video and let me know how you like it down below. Leave me a comment, like this video. And if you ever have to actually try this method, then I would love to hear how it's gonna work out for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Keep coming home, but you're not around You're not around I, I gave it all when you asked me for more But then you turned it